Hello everyone, I'm Bishop Terry Draney, I'm the Bishop of Middlesbrough in the, the northeast of England, right near the top there. Middlesbrough Diocese contains North Yorkshire, East Yorkshire, and all along the coast from, from Redcar down to, down to Wivensea, uh, a really beautiful part of the country. Today I'd like to read to you um, chapter 53 of the, uh, of the children's Bible. It's a very small chapter, um, but it's a very important chapter. And its title is The Testimony of the Father. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he came to John at the Jordan. He let himself be baptised with the others. Then he prayed. At that moment, the heavens opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus like a hovering dove. A voice spoke from heaven, You are my beloved Son. My favour rests on you. As I say, it's only a very small chapter of the, of, the, of the scriptures, but a very important one. That was the moment when God the Father acknowledged Jesus as his son and told all the world, listen to him, because my favour rests on him. I delight in him. Each one of us, when we were baptised, has deep in in the very heart of us, the memory of God the Father saying exactly those same words to each one of us. We have to delve really deep into our hearts uh, to, to claim that memory. The Father at our baptism looked upon every one of us and saw the image of Jesus deep within us and he said, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter and I delight in him. I delight in her. I delight in you. And the great thing about that is that the Father is never ever going to take that back. He delights in us now and he'll delight in us all of our life right through into eternity when he invites us to live with Jesus of the Holy Spirit forever and ever with him. The Father is never ever going to take that promise back that we're his children and he delights in us. And we can build on that. It's about the only thing in our lives that will never change. So many things change. Um, friends come and go, sadly. Uh, people that, who are important in our lives come and go. But the Father will never abandon us. And he will always call us his beloved son, his beloved daughter. And he will never, ever stop delighting in us each one of us and that's why it's important that we we get hold of that memory and um, remind ourselves of it very frequently. Now one or two things that you can think about perhaps. Um, do you know when you were baptised? Do you know the date when you were baptised? Try and find out the date of your baptism because it's such an important day in your life when you became a child of God and you were introduced to the Father and you were given the gift of the Holy Spirit and you met Jesus as your saviour and your brother. So try and find out when you were baptised. Try and find out where you were baptised. What church were you baptised in? Can you find out the name of the priest who baptised you? Your godparents, if you don't know them already, try and find out what their names are. At all of our baptisms, generally speaking, we're, the, the godparents are given a candle which represents the light of Christ, the light of Jesus, burning brightly in the heart and the lives of each one of us once we're baptised. See if you've still got that candle. Ask if, if that candle's still around. And, um, and when you found out the day of your baptism, make sure perhaps in the future that you celebrate that day and you bring that candle out and light that candle. Not light your birthday, don't put it on top of the cake because I think it'd make a terrible mess of your cake, but bring that candle out and light it to remind yourself that you were baptised. And when you were baptised, you became a son or daughter, a child of God, a child of the Father, 
and he told you that he delights in you now and forever. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little story and, and I hope it means something to you. Bye-bye and God bless.